Hi guys, Monica here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. I have a brand new club dance move tutorial for you. Stay till the end of this video because I'll be showing you how you can include this specific move in your freestyle. Today, more dance hold, more hips isolations. And this will be one of my favorite moves. We're going to do a whine. So let's bend the knees, feet are apart. Um, do you remember when we did the taking around movement? It's kind of like that, but it's not. <laughs> but it will help you to learn the positions we're going to be going through. So I'm going to post a link in the description box below. Um, we were basically mapping out four positions that you're moving your hips and pelvis in. It was the front, it was right, it was back, it was left. Without the actual tick, just the four points around you, you have to know those before you whine. So the first one, we're going to bring the pelvis up. You're going to um, push it forward. Then you go to the right, back, so you arch your back, and then to the left. Front, right, back, left. Front, right, back, left. Now, once you have it, once you can do it with any speed without thinking about it, those four uh, points are happening, we're going to connect them in a smooth motion. So we're going to go from the first position to the second, to the third, to the fourth in one smooth, hopefully, motion. Go forward and up with the pelvis. So watch here. This is, this is very important. This is what differentiates the wine from just a regular pelvis circle. We're not going for this. We're going for this. See, this is what that, um, what is it called? You're just uh, pushing your tailbone forward. I think that's how we can describe it. Feel the pinch in your abs. That's how hard you're bringing the pelvis forward. That's how much you're bringing it forward and up. Let's see if we can do it smoothly, but slowly again. You're going front, right, back, so arch and left. Again, up, right, back, left, and up, right, back, left. And then see if you can make the movement smaller. It's not about the size of this motion. It will be as small as possible. That's when it looks smoother. What else you should know? You should keep the weight, the weight. <laughs> you, you should keep the body weight in the middle, so don't get to one side or the other, not yet. There will be variations like that as well. Yeah, but for now, we'll keep it the easiest way possible. We'll do this movement the easiest way. So you're going to keep it in the middle. The weight is on both legs evenly. And then you're trying to go through those four positions. I cut the movement in size. I'm not going in my full range of motion anymore because this will help me go smoother. Another thing, do not try it with straight legs. It simply won't work. The pelvis is being blocked because your legs are straight. So to keep it nice and loose um, so that it has a lot of mobility, you're going to stay with this knee bend the entire time. And this beat will tell you when you finish each circle, each wine, okay? So five, six, seven, eight. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Let's see if we can switch it. We'll go to the left. I suggest you start with the same four points, just in the other order. So we're starting with the pelvis up on one, then left hip, then arch the back, body is going to the back, and then right hip to the right. Front, left, back, right, front, left, back, connected, front, left, back, and right. Front, left, back, right, and then just letting the pelvis go in that circular motion. And uh, don't forget to bring the pelvis upwards a little bit when you go through the middle. Mm -hmm. You can do it as many times as you need to. To be honest, this movement to get this to be somewhat smooth, it took me weeks, long, long time ago, but weeks. Um, good thing is once you learn it, you're not going to forget it. So it is good to, you know, put in that time. Once you have that rhythm, you can go twice as fast on every beat. It will look something like this. If I do it to the right, boom, 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 boom. See, every single beat is one circle. 
but that's not easy. After practicing the four points, after practicing a very slow wind, I can gradually speed up, speed it up because I have that muscle movement memory, which just means that I'm not thinking about each position my hip or my pelvis should be in. It happens kind of on the autopilot because I first practice it very slow. So then I can just speed it up and go as fast as I want to, switching positions later on, moving around, walking, one, two, one, two, slow rhythm. Faster, two, one, two, one, two, one to the left, one, two, one, two, one, two, and every beat. Okay guys, and now it's time to freestyle. Let me show you how I do it. If you like the movements that I'm using in my freestyle, I'm going to post links to those videos uh, in the description box below for you.